The Last Cold Day is dedicated to my dad and he did get a copy of the book in his hands um, though he died a couple of months later. So dad this is for you. Some of the poems in this book chronicle my work as a hospice nurse and the first poem I'm going to read I wrote after the death of a patient of mine who was a very dignified beautiful woman um, very put together when I would visit always had to have her wig on always her jewelry and beautiful clothing and after she died it was a lovely spring day outside the building where she lived and I wrote this poem called Everything All Right. Late afternoon, Burger Hill, fat light. I just came from her house. I bathed her, dressed her in her favorite top. Left all her rings, her bracelets, her necklace around her slender neck. I put all her medicines in a special bag, dotted the eyes, sat in my car a while outside her place, made a call, sat a while, wiped my eyes. Some deaths take us further than we realize. I'd like to visit her again tomorrow, 10 a.m., as we planned. She went out her own way, lipstick, decked out nails. In her last few days, she mouthed to us, yeah, it's all going to be okay. The air outside my car is pale gold, busy with life, flitting things, shiny spiderweb, bird songs I can't identify. I feel her. I'm not sure, but I think she's telling me, get on home. Pick up your life, girl. No sense hanging around for me. I'm done here. Go be yourself. This is a good life. And when the night is dark blue and black, and white, remember me and how I whispered to you with my last breaths, everything, all right. I think it's a consistent, but a kind of a quiet theme throughout my poetry, being an emigrant from Ireland and what it feels like to return there as I have many times over the 30 plus years I've been gone, changes as Ireland changes, as my relationship with Ireland changes, but there's a similarity to the visits home where it's so wonderful to step off the plane in Terminal 2 in Dublin and it's so wrenching to take off again at the end of the visit and watch Dublin getting smaller and smaller. I love where I live in America but I will always miss Ireland. So this is a poem I wrote after a visit in February 2020. 2020 right before COVID. Um, my husband and I went home, we took my dad on a little road trip, which turned out to be one of the last trips he was able to make. And I wrote this poem called Snow on Molesworth Street. A journey home, February's bitter end. That hard won piece of ground on which I stand proves a flow. Terminal two, walking on glass out into the chilled sun, all the words a slant on my native tongue. A brisk wind shivers across the puddles. Funny the things that write us. Four days in Dublin, the heavy doors, you have to put against them all your years before they give. But when they give, they offer up their inner rooms without reserve. Titian, Velasquez, Turner's sunset at Ostend with its fiery skies and Christ taken before our eyes. The hand of betrayal on his cloak and the dark, the soldier's darkness, their intent. 31 years and I'm always leaving Ireland. It's salt rime, black rocks, white caps, the sea coming in at the land. I travel from end to end the melancholy begs to be let in, but I drive her out into the weather. Sun, rain, sideways dance of sleet and snow on Molesworth Street. The spirits so light in weight, they forget to settle. Terminal two, we taxi down the runway. The roots that were nourished in this soil are coming loose. Take off rips them free, the wrench in the chest the heart crossways and salt rhyme every time. 
as the plane banks steeply over the pool bed twins and the melancholy wails to be let in. I use all the words I know, bracken, bog and fen, skeletal trees, moss covered stone. And slowly, they are enough for the ghosts to leave well alone. So in the end, I'm just as strong as the hard won piece of ground on which I stand. And the title poem of this book, The Last Cold Day, I wrote after my migration from the Bay Area where I lived for many years to New York's Hudson Valley. I moved in the height of COVID and I'd never lived in snow before, so that was a shock. <laughs> and I discovered that real seasons exist and when the winter is very snowy, there is always one day that is the last day. It's gonna be really cold and then it's all good. This is called The Last Cold Day. Wake me. Now I'm alive and sensate. Now I'm awake on the last cold day before snow's words curl themselves back up on winter's page. Willows know it. They were the first. During the melt, in a landscape of monotones, they lit up slow yellow gold, gilded, throwing their bare arms into the wild afternoons, following age-old instructions imprinted in the mother tongue beneath the snow. Geese know it, a week of happy mornings fattening by our creek. I woke to their scandalous cries and lay there loving them immediately and without reserve. They have flown. The creek runs on alone. I lie beside you before dawn on the last chilly day, loving completely and without reserve. <laughs>